Good evening, everybody. This is Sweat, and here is another M16 gameplay, this time on Strike at Karkin. And this is a game, uh, once again, super full try hard mode. Uh, in the works, Media and I were really, really stressed out trying to defend these objectives. Felt like we were the only guys doing anything. You'll notice a lot of diffuses uh, by myself in particular in this game. So, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Uh, but today, we want to talk about these patch notes that's been announced. And this morning, Battlefield and, uh, and DICE announced that they will be patching this game effective on June 4th, which is uh, happens to be the Monday I go back to class, lucky me. And, uh, and June 5th for some PS3 guys, I think in Japan maybe, but for the most part, most platforms, June 4th. And it's a pretty extensive list of, uh, of things they're patching, guys. What I've done is I've kind of got a few highlights of some of the things that I that I noticed and was most interested in. Uh, but first and foremost, let's start off with the M26 Dark Glitch it is supposed to be fixed. Apparently, DICE had said that for whatever reason, whenever you equip the Heavy Barrel and, uh, and the M26, the M26 was actually firing assault rifle rounds. Which is, uh, which I guess it explains the range, and then they're supposedly uh, that has supposedly been fixed, uh, effective of June 4th. The patch will fix the M26 dark glitch, so that's uh, that's really important. That's really uh, special for a lot of people. I know I'm I'm pretty sick of it myself. So now we can find something else that's wrong, right? Um, other big thing, other huge thing, is suppression has been reduced. Now suppression will still be higher than it has been in the game before, um, but it is it will be reduced. To, from what it is right now so I'm really interested to see how that affects me on PC I have not played PC uh, without uh, the maximum amount of suppression uh, you know possible you know I've I got on after the the last big patch that initially that brought all that that huge amount of suppression or whatever so I'm really interested to see how that affects me I'm really excited about it uh, because it's supposed to reduce the amount of uh, it's supposed to, you know not have as much inaccuracy or, or however you want to say it so reduce suppression let's let's take it for uh, for what it is and uh, and let's see how the game reacts to that now let's go through some of the other highlights uh, jet and helicopter ECM jammer should now deflect missiles more reliably when it's active so uh, I guess you know. I guess there were some problems with that. I know it seems like if that javelin is locked on to you, uh, there's nothing you can do uh, once it's been locked on. There's no missiles, flares, or anything. And I thought that they were supposed to fix that in the last patch. So let's see if maybe uh, that has something to do with that. Uh, fixed a bug where some vehicle unlocks were still enabled after player left the vehicle. I brought this up because I know a lot of people like to stack perks, and sometimes you know your buddy will get in and he's got say proximity scan. And as soon as he hops out, you keep the proximity scan in your tank or in your vehicle. But it looks like, uh, if I'm reading that correctly, that that, that option is no longer is not going to be available anymore. So, uh, so it looks like they're getting rid of that little bug. Uh, reduce the inaccuracy added when in suppression. There we go. Uh, there's still enhanced suppression compared to initial state of the game. But the effect is now less than it, than in the last patch. So that's what I was talking about. So they're reducing the inaccuracy and they're reducing the suppression just a bit. There's still going to be a lot of it. There's still going to be more than any other time. Um, but it's not going to be quite as much as that last major patch. Uh, PS3 gamers, reduce input lag for game pads and joysticks on all platforms. So I guess that's myself included, playing on a controller and a PC. Um, but aiming as a soldier when using a gamepad or joystick should now be more responsive. So let's see if maybe that is the update that PS3 gamers have been looking for. I know they have suffered greatly with that input lag. Uh, greatly improve the responsiveness when deploying a bipod. Lord knows I have so many issues with this. So maybe um, maybe this will fix that. You know, it, it always seems like they're patching the bipod though. Like, you know, maybe one day uh, they'll get that just right. Players will now spawn on the radio beacon looking in the same direction the beacon is facing. And that that's kind of always been a crapshoot as well. It doesn't matter where you or how you set that beacon down. It always puts you looking behind it or, or left, right, or whatever. It never seemed to really face you where you where you, you know, kind of wanted to be faced. Uh, tweak some tracers on sniper rounds to have better visibility at range. They're making them smaller, uh, so I guess that means they're more clear and easier to track. Uh, fix the bug where heavy barrels and underslung shotguns could be overpowered. That's the M26 dart uh, fixed, finally. The L96 properly shoots where the iron sights are aimed. So that little bug is gone. That's what. That's apparently what has been uh, wrong with the L96. So we'll see what that, uh, what that brings to the table. And some other things, um, the FAMAS, the foregrip recoil reduction, and uh, reduce some of the vertical recoil and zoomed accuracy. Uh, zoomed accuracy penalties added to the FAMAS. So it looks like they're they're 
kind of bringing back, uh, or, or they're they're kind of buffing the, some of the weapons that they nerfed really heavily. Uh, basically, it looks like maybe the M4 is going to be kind of buffed a little bit. The Scar H looks like it's going to be nerfed a little bit. The Famas looks like it's going to be buffed just a little bit. Um, the F2000 looks like it might be buffed just a little bit as far as accuracy and recoil reduction. So um, just a few weapon changes. I'm sure it's not going to be anything drastic, but they've probably noticed that there's a few weapons that seem to be um, a lot more used since that uh, since that last patch. I mean, I'm sure they didn't want to make the weapons completely unusable like, like the FAMAS because uh, they certainly did that. So uh, just a few patch notes, guys. Uh, I was pretty excited to hear about it this morning, and I wanted to share your uh, share that with you and, and maybe get your thoughts on it. I am really excited about some of these weapons changes and I'm really excited to see what this uh, lack of suppression is because I've heard a lot of people say it's ruined uh, it's ruined Battlefield. So uh, quickly if you miss a couple of videos, the video on the left is actually the last video I talked about with Battlefield Premium and uh, and some of my thoughts on that and if and if early access is ruining uh, Battlefield Premium or if it's a mistake video on the right is where I do some sniping with the M40 and uh, and had a lot of fun with that I talked a little bit about uh, my history with Remington firearms and stuff like that so and if you're new here just click that subscribe button in the middle of the screen thank you for watching guys and I'll talk to you again soon